This is an English pub. Just the place for a little something to warm the cockles of your heart while I chill your blood. They give you a mulled claret here, guaranteed to fortify you against, <laughs> well, against anything. If the people's clothes seem strange, well, it's because we're back in 1905, when the dollar was still a dollar, and the British pound was a beautiful gold coin. We are going to see three forces of evil, three stories, each a masterpiece of strangeness and terror. In this room is a young man who is on his way to commit a murder. Katie, can't you be patient? I told you I'll get everything. When he kicks the bucket. Isn't it time he did? Katie, he can't last long. He's half off his head already, fiddling around with this weird hocus-pocus he goes in for. Simon, you're backing down again, aren't you, dear? No. Then what is it, my sweet? Surely you don't doubt your plan will work. Yes, it'll work. You've got the plan. What you need is the courage to carry it out. <laughs> that's a nice thing to say, isn't it? After all, I'm the one that's going to be hanged if anything goes wrong. Well, if that's the way you feel. Oh, no, Katie, wait a minute. My dear, it's as simple as this. If you don't go through with it, I'm through with you. I'm very fond of you, Ducky, but I can live without you. Money, I've got to have. Listen, Katie. Leave it to me. Miss... She wants money. He wants her. Hmm. Well, to satisfy both these desirous young people, someone will have to die. Drink your claret. You're going to need it. You are about to meet the extra passenger in one of the eeriest tales ever told. Stop Sudbury, Benford, East Chemley after that. I'll doze for a while, I think. Very good, sir. So myself.
Sudbury, Sudbury. All off the Sudbury.
aboard. All aboard for Edinburgh, Aberdeen and Inverness. All aboard. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I must have dozed off. Well, I thought you might like some tea, sir. Oh, no, I don't think I fancy any right now, thank you. Oh. Aberdeen next stop, sir. Chemley, sir? Well, are you asleep or something? This is a reserve compartment, you know. Why didn't I see you when I came in? Look, you've no right here. You're in the wrong compartment. I am not. Where did you get on? After you got off. I haven't been off the train. I thought you might have gone to see your uncle. Oh, you know my uncle? Yes. Yeah. It's a pity you didn't know more about him. Look, if there's something I ought to know, I'd like to hear it. Oh, but you shall. Your uncle was a match. Match? Uh, a warlock, then, if you like it better. So if he is a warlock, what does he do? He has his own familiar on wings. On wings? He can send a lich or two about if he has a mind to do it. A lich? What's that? A lich is a corpse. Your uncle was a great one for doing things like that. He could send a corpse about for a special purpose. Like now. He was a great one for doing things like that? He was, you say? You know what I mean. And you, whoever you are, you know a great deal too much. Simon! Come to me, Simon. Bring your face nearer to me, Simon. alone or not, locked in or not, I think I can tell you what killed him. These marks look as if they were made by a fighting cock, as if its claws punctured his throat. Strange. <laughs>
another glass of this claret, of course. It'll bring